sports fans, and welcome to South Lyon High School. It is Friday, December 13th, 2013. Tonight, the South Lyon Lions welcome in the visiting Pinckney Pirates. We've got a fantastic atmosphere here in the jungle. Good student section crowd for the home team Lions. They are in the white with the blue trim. And the Pinckney Pirates, of course, in the black and red. Outside, look, that's number three. Grant Essenmacher. We are just underway here in the first quarter. Lions had a very senior-led team last year. Had some, a great run in the state playoffs last year. And we'll have to see how the boys do filling the shoes of the seniors that vacated this team. And a pretty solid test here tonight, early on in this regular season with a KLAA crossover from the West in Pinckney. This first quarter being brought to you by Southline Orthodontics and Dr. Renee Guerin. They're located in King Plaza. Go and see Dr. Renee Guerin for all your orthodontics needs. Check them out at southlineorthodontics.net. Shot from the free throw line off the mark. We're still scoreless. 6.55 to play first quarter. Also being brought to you by the Jewelers of South Lion. Located at 8 Mile and Pontiac Trail. They do cash for gold and free, free repairs on all religious and medical jewelry. Excuse me. Had a hard time reading the handwriting there. Six and a half to play. South Lion trails Pinckney two to nothing. Foul called. Sanders called with the foul. Number 21, senior listed at 6'2". Great effort by the South Lion student section. Even better by number 40 for Pinckney. Jordan Welzer able to concentrate and knock them both down, giving Pinckney a four to nothing lead here early on. In the first quarter. Travel whistle there on number 42, Alex Stowe. 5.52 to play in this first quarter. Pinckney leads it four to nothing. Being brought to you by South Lion Orthodontics and Dr. Renee Guerin and the Jewelers of South Lion. Located at Eight Mile and Pontiac Trail where they do cash for gold. Lions whistled for another foul that trip. It's their team third. Thought about the long outside three. Decided against it, now takes it and a foul called. And it's gonna be three free throws. Looked like Tommy Averill whistled for the foul. Chance for Pinckney to open up a seven point lead here. Hits the first of three. 
5.30 to play, first quarter. Pinckney now leads it 5 nothing. trip takes full advantage of it and makes it seven nothing now Pinckney 520 to play first quarter baseline kick out now up top long three ball off the mark that was number four Carter Drazga it's a familiar name we remember from last year's team South Lion with the possession arrow. 4.51 to play first quarter. Lions looking to get this offense going. They trail by seven. Thought the, I thought the Lions were getting that. The possession arrow looked to be in their favor. Guess not. Turns it over and Drazgo picks it up. Has it poked away from behind and Pickney. Great effort there by 21. Will, Sa Will Sanders. But after all that, Pinkney ends up with the inbound. Travel right in front of the official. Would have had a hard time missing that one. 424 to play first quarter. Being brought to you by South Lion Orthodontics and Dr. Renee Guerin. They're located in King Plaza for all your orthodontics needs. Check them out at SouthLionOrthodontics.net. Pinkney comes away with a Nice rebound, and Lions will stay scoreless halfway through this first quarter. Spots up, knocks one down. Long two ball, looked good. Nine nothing Pinckney, 350 and counting to play first quarter. Also being brought to you by the Jewelers of South Lion. They do cash for gold and free repairs for all medical and religious jewelry. Travel called against the Lions. And Doug Host giving out his opinion there. Pinkney moving the ball well in the offensive zone. Quality shot and a big offensive rebound, put back and the foul. So a 319 to play first quarter. Pinkney's gonna have an opportunity to open up a double digit lead here. Dylan Kelly at the strike for the Pirates. Hits his first of two, 10 nothing. Pinkney. South line with five team fouls. Pinkney with one. And we are just under five minutes into this first period, our first quarter. Tough start for the home Lions.
Drives baseline, floater no good. Official says South Lion was last to touch it. 3.06 to play first quarter. It's the Pirates by 11, 11 to nothing. Good defensive effort by number four, Drazga. the left wing, shot doesn't go, and now loose, great diving effort by 22, Jake Lucius. <laughs> 240 to play first quarter, foul called on Pinckney, only their second team foul. Tough shot, defended well, rebound Pinckney. And another foul called. Looks like Tommy Averill. They ended up calling it on near. Timeout on the floor, 2.33 to play first quarter. South Line trails the visiting Pinckney Pirates 11 to nothing. to play here in the first quarter. South line offense desperately trying to get something going here as they trail 11 to nothing. And as bad as a start as it's been, it could be worse. Only down 11. Definitely could get something going here off the back of the iron. Look, one of the Lions better scoring chances there from number four, Carter Drazga. Outside, thought about it. Now Drazga, bounce pass down to the baseline, running out of room. Got lucky that Drazga was able to cut in and get that. Minute 15 to play, first quarter. Crowd coming alive. Nearly out of the reach there on the cross court pass. 21 drives. Official waves it off as Sanders went to the lane. Exactly 60 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Looks like Near will inbound for South Lion. Fouls quickly getting back to even. South Lion with 16 fouls, now four for the Pirates. Bucket was waved off. Fifth team foul for the Pirates. 
Pat Duffy can't even make that up. Patrick Duffy on the foul. Not, not the Patrick Duffy from step by step. Seconds to play, first quarter. Lions looking to get on the scoreboard here. Down low, knocked away from 34. David Dyer in a jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor of South Lion this time. Dyer kicks it out. Drozga with it off the right wing. Down to 20 seconds now, first quarter. Outside, thought about it. From the free throw line, knocks it down. David Dyer gets South Lion on the board. Under 10 seconds to go, first quarter. 11 to two, Pinckney will turn it over with four seconds left. In this first quarter of action, brought to you by Southline Orthodontics and Dr. Renee Guerin. Check them out at southlineorthodontics.net. And the jewelers of Southline, where they do cash for gold and free repairs for all medical and religious jewelry. Three seconds left. Drazga airs it out. Look like it had a chance. After the first quarter of play, the Pinckney Pirates lead it 11-2 over the Southline Lions. there, 7.38 to play second quarter. Lions will turn it over. 11 to two is your score. Pinckney Pirates started the game on an 11-0 run. Dyer was able to get the Lions on the board right as the first quarter ended. And that's where we stand right now. Seven team fouls for the Lions, five for the Pirates. This second quarter action being brought to you by Dr. Jamie J. Penn and South Lion Chiropractic. Your hometown female chiropractor. She has $20 adjustments. And the best burger in town in the New Hudson Inn. Stop by and see Chris Stoney and the guys at the five corners there at New Hudson and get yourself the best burger in town. Outside shot from the baseline, no good. Putback is all there. 15 to 2, 6.55 to play second quarter. Turned over. Knocks it down, that's number three, Sam Black. Making it 16 to two with 6.15 to play second quarter. It's been all Pinckney offensively. Pretty good competition between the two student sections here. Got a little bit of a history between these two schools. Uh, in football season, Pinckney not only defeated South Line in the first week of the regular season, went on to defeat South Line in the opening round in the state playoffs as Drazga rattles one home from the perimeter, making it 16 to five. The Pirates lead it, 5.50 to play second quarter, being brought to you by the new Hudson Inn and South Lion Chiropractic and Dr. Jamie J. Penn. Lots of 
lots of space in the lane and the foul. Number 40, Jordan Welser for the Pirates will head to the line for the three-point play. Nineteen to five, Pirates lead it. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. How that wasn't a foul, they called that a, a tie-up, is beyond me. I've played in some uh, some neighborhood games. That might have been called in the neighborhood game. Lions able to get it back with the possession arrow. Nice give and go off the mark with that shot. South Lion will head to the line. That's number 42, Alex Stowe. This is a free throw. And he is immediately fouled. <laughs> Lucius whistled for the foul. And that's been the real story here for South Lion. Getting whistled for a lot of fouls, they're struggling in the offensive end. And give Pinckney credit, they've been playing some suffocating D. A lot like you're used to seeing from the South Lion team. Pinckney now has opened up a 15 point lead, 20 to five with 5.16 to play in the second quarter. Drazi, a nice bounce, pass down, low in the foul. Nice play there from the line offense. Alex Stowe with the finish. And maybe that's something there that can spark this offense to get going here. Plenty of time left in this one. But the Lions battling a 14 point deficit right now with 4.59 to play in the second quarter. Being brought to you by the new Hudson Inn. They've got the best burger in town, folks. And the South Lion Chiropractic and Dr. Jamie J. Penn. They have $20 adjustments there and a full team of masseuses there, too, if needed. Turned over by the Pirates back the other way and a foul. As number 11, Joe Newman. Coming in off the right side. This is the second 21 to 8. Your score, 436 to play, second quarter. Pinckney leads it. They started this one on an 11 0 run.
Tenth team foul for the Lions. Pinckney will shoot the rest of the way. Oh, Newman whistled for the foul. Frustrating first half thus far for South Lion. Twenty-two to eight, four nineteen and counting. Second quarter. South Line trails. Outside look no good. Offensive board put back too strong. And the Pirates are right there to jump on that rebound. Halfway through this second quarter now. Great effort there by 24, Tommy Averill. Pinkney keeps possession and a timeout on the floor. Student section trying to rally the Lion defense. And it creates a turnover. Drazga with a nice play. Bounce pass and we have a stop. Drazga will head to the line. Makes it 22 to nine. Pirates lead the Lions. 3.49 to play second quarter. Being brought to you by Dr. Jamie J. Penn in South Line Chiropractic. And the new Hudson Inn. Replaced for the best burger in town. Poked away, able to regain it and loses it. Oh my, are you kidding me? You know, I've been doing these games a long time. I don't think I've seen a Southline team have so many things go against them early. Uh, fouls and some judgment calls. And they create their turnover there, right there. All the way in, slam dunk! Woo, child! And the place is gonna burn down. The student section's loving it. Tommy Averill with the first dunk we've seen here in a couple years. And listen to this crowd. Second quarter, 22 to 12. The Lions have cut it to a 10 point lead for the Pirates. And the place is about to erupt because Tommy Averill just decided to throw one down. to 14, Pinckney leads it, 3.15 to play second quarter. I'm Dan Pelchat alongside Matt Boyer on camera. It is December 13th, 2013, big shot there from Pinckney to match the three point play, 25-14 now, Pirates lead it. 
2.57 to play second quarter. Thank you very much for joining us on SLC TV. This is our first basketball broadcast of the season. In our seventh year of bringing you South Lion basketball and winter sports really all around. This year we're going to try something new and take in a bowling event in February as South Lion takes on South Lion East, so look forward to that. Turnover created, and the Lions really are starting to get something going. They finally got this Pinckney lead back to single digits, 25 to 16. 240 to play second quarter. This Lions basketball team has always been notorious to be a scrappy bunch defensively. Sometimes can help bide some time for those offensive struggles. Great effort to get that pass through. And Drazga blew a tire there and lost the handle on it. Approaching the two minute mark here in the second quarter. And we're just not allowed to play basketball tonight. Another foul whistled there. This one will be on number 21, Will Sanders. First free throw is good. Second one, no good. Pinkney will turn it over, trying to keep it in bounds. Lead back to 10 for the Pirates, 26 to 16. Two minutes even left to play in the second quarter. This game being brought to you on December 13th, 2013. I'm Dan Pelchat alongside Matt Boyer on camera. Roller doesn't go for South Line. Pinckney with the rebound. Whistled for the foul. Lions have to be closing in on 25 team fouls. The guys at the scorer's table stop keeping track at 10. job again by the South Line student section here tonight. A really good crowd. Minute 30 to play second quarter. Lions trail by 10. 26 to 16. Now it's 26 to 18. Minute 21 and counting second quarter. Lions have really had to battle through some offensive struggles and really battle through some sketchy officiating. Lots of fouls called. Runner in the lane goes 28 to 18. Last minute of play in the second quarter. Outside shot, Drazga. Great job, number 20. Anton Scoopin. Might remember that name from Football season, young man, also the starting quarterback for the South Lion Lions. Had himself a really breakout season. Be interesting to see what him and the boys for the football team will be able to do next year with a lot of juniors coming back for head coach Mark Thomas and the South Lion Lions. First free throw, no good. 
Once again, this second quarter of action being brought to you by Dr. Jamie J. Penn and Southline Chiropractic. She's got $20 adjustments. No need to worry about insurance or any of that. And our good friends at the New Hudson Inn, they've got the best burger in town, folks. I like to go with the bacon cheeseburger, medium well. Thirty seconds in counting to play second quarter. Southline trails the Pinckney Pirates 28 to 18. Baseline kick out. Drazga. Oh, looked good. Just came up a little short. Let's see if Pinckney holds for the last shot here with just 15 seconds and counting to play in the second quarter. Down to 10. <laughs> Five seconds now. Turns it over. And your score at the end of the first half here at Southline High School. The Lions trail the visiting Pinckney Pirates 28 to 18. We'll be back after a quick word from our sponsors with the second half. And we welcome you back to South Lion High School. We are just underway in the second half. South Lion trails 28 to 20. Nice bucket there by number four, Carter Drazga. Lions offense struggled mightily in the first quarter. They've slowly chipped away at the Pinckney lead. Nice defensive turnover created there by South Lion. Kicks it out, open look, rattles it home! And South Lion on a quick 5-0 run to start the third quarter. 28-23, and buckle up, because we're gonna get a ball game here. This third quarter, great. Job 42, Alex Stowe to steal that pass. Open look, splash down! Brent Essenbacher and the Lions come out, guns blazing, 8 0 run. It's 28 26, 6.45 to play, third quarter. This third quarter of play being brought to you by our good friends out at Avis Ford, Sugar Ray Stoney, and the Special Finance Group. Check them out at avisfordspecialfinance.com. And also, this third quarter of action being brought to you by Philip J. Wiper, attorney at law. You can reach Phil at 486-1100. Again, Philip J. Wiper, attorney at law, 486-1100. He's also your Oakland County Commissioner, folks. And he's the guy you want in the courtroom for you. 6.36 to play, third quarter. Lions have come out on an 8-0 run. They trailed by 10 at the break. It's now 28-26. Doug Host and the coaching staff lit a fire under these boys at the break. Travel called, 6.15 to play third quarter. Lions still trail by two. Absolutely phenomenal atmosphere here tonight in the jungle at the corner of 11 Mile and Pontiac Trail. Great student section crowd on hand for South Lion. And not too bad of a traveled student section for Pinckney tonight either. You may hear them chanting back and forth. And we are knotted up at 28 with 5.47 to play in the third quarter. The Lions have battled all the way back from an 11 point deficit. Foul called.
Outside, look from the corner, leaves it a touch short. Nice fake pass to the right wing. Pickney back on top, 30 to 28. Oh, poked away and a nice defensive play by number three for the Pirates, Sam Black. Pirates will head to the line. They lead it 30 to 28. 442 to play. Third quarter being brought to you by our friends at Avis Ford in the special finance department. Good credit, bad credit, dumpster fire credit. Go and see our friend Sugar Ray Stoney at Avis Ford. They'll get you one of those nice new fusions. And uh, Philip J. Wipert. Attorney at law, he's located kitty corner from Brown's Root Beer in downtown South Lyon. The guy is well known in the area. Great attorney and your Oakland County Commissioner you can reach Phil at 486 1100. Lions trail 31 to 28. Sounds like a football score. Drazga, long two ball off the mark. Rebounded by the Pirates. free throw no good 31 28 remains the score we're at the four minute mark halfway through this third quarter Nice pass down low with the kiss off the glass. 31-30, Lions trail by one. Three and a half to play third quarter. This game being brought to you on December 13th, 2013. Matt Boyer on camera. I'm Dan Pelchat. We thank you very much for joining us with this SLC TV Winter Sports broadcast. In the lane, great defense. And really a tough shot. Lions come away with the rebound. And a chance for their first lead of the night. Nearly thrown away. Two fifty-seven left third quarter and a foul called on the Pirates. It's their second team foul in the second half. Ooh, I'm sorry, that's their team first. Someone's got a quick finger over there on the scoreboard. Bounce pass, knocked away. Lions able to regroup. And another 
tipped pass. Pirates come away with it. Substitution number 34, David Dyer coming in. Jake Lucius will get a quick blow here with 2.39 to play. Third quarter being brought to you by Sugar Ray Stoney and the Special Finance Department at Avis Ford. Good credit, bad credit. Any sort of credit they can get you approved and get you in a good, reliable vehicle. Also, Philip J. Wipert, attorney at law. You can reach Phil at 486-1100 for all your attorney needs. Two and a half left to play third quarter. South Lion trails 31 to 30. The Pirates started this game on an 11-0 run. And South Lion has slowly been able to chip away and then exploded for eight straight points to start this half. And that's where we stand now. It's been an ugly game, lots of fouls. And, um, you know, I, it's a well-known fact that I tend to be a little bit of a homer for the home team Lions. But uh, I think any casual fan who's taken in this game has seen that South Lion has ended up on the wrong end of some of these close calls an amazing amount of times. 2-12 left to play, third quarter, South Lion trails Pinckney 31-30. Lions trail the visiting Pinckney Pirates here. Exactly two minutes left to play in this third quarter. <laughs> Off the right side. Blocking foul called against the Pirates. 138 left third quarter. Lions with a chance to draw this back to a one point game. Side shot off the back of the iron. It gets a backward spin to go down. 36-31 after that three-pointer from the Pirates. Drazga right baseline. Let's it go off the mark. Rebound Pirates. In the lane, 
Gets it to go, 38-31 Pinckney. Opening it up now, a seven point lead with 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Brought to you by Philip J. Wiper, attorney at law. Reach Phil at 486-1100. Third quarter also brought to you by Avis Ford Special Finance outside bucket for number four, Carter Drazga. Picking up his team with a big time bucket there, 38-34. And that'll do it. After three quarters of play, South Lion trails the Pinckney Pirates 38 to 34.